So, hi, Amanda. This is Brian. I'm, I am on kind of a Fourth July weekend, so I won't return back to class till Tuesday. It looks like you're using the back of the book for checking your work, which is a good thing. As long as you're understanding what you're doing, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot of the work on paper. Again, that, you're kind of a typical student who doesn't show a lot on paper. Uh, you asked a question about number uh, 28 because the solution back there was confusing. Um, again, 28 is about um, the final sentence there is how many combinations will be possible. So we have a person who's going to pick two chairs to decorate her room, and those chairs are in different colors. They're in yellow, red, green, and blue. So she has four different colors. But she's only going to choose two of those colors. So if she starts with yellow to start with, if she picks yellow to start with, so she could do a yellow and a red, she could do a, a yellow and a green, and she could do a, a yellow and a blue. She'd have three choices there. If she picked red first, she'd have a red and a yellow, but red and yellow is really the same thing as yellow and red, so that's really the same. Uh, pattern in design. So that's just a repeat. So you just mark that one out. Uh, she would have red, green as another different option to put in front of her fireplace. I believe that was what she's doing. Well, she, actually she's accenting a wall. Um, red, green, and red, blue. If she chooses green first, she would have a green, yellow, but if you notice over, over here, there's a yellow, green already. So that's a repeat. Green, red, is also a repeat from choosing red first. So green blue would only be the new new option there. For blue, blue yellow has already been repeated. Blue red has already been used and blue green has already been used. So there's really no new choices there because they were already picked by the other options. So her choices would be a yellow, a red, a yellow, a green, a yellow and a blue, a red and a green, a red and a blue, and a green and a blue. That would be their choices. So it would be like one, two, three, four, five, six choices. That's what they're trying to model back there using a the chart because some of the stuff you have no real uh, simple strategy uh, with these types of problems. So six would be the answer there if you just made a table or just marked things down on paper. Now, there is a way to do it on a calculator because this falls under probability. So in a calculator, if you want to do this problem, and the key is it's a combination problem. And combination tells me this is a probability question. So to do probability on the calculator, the four is the number of choices. So that goes in first. So you enter four into the calculator. You then have to go find the PRB button. I think it's like the fourth key up from the the seven key. So if you can find the seven key, it's the fourth key up and it says PRB on it. So you hit that key. Then using your directional pad, you'll hit the down arrow to highlight the NCER, the NCR. Once the NCR is highlighted, you then hit enter. And then you can hit the, the key for two, for two choices. Hit enter again, and that'll give you the six. So you hit the four, you find the PRB button, you find the NCR, hit enter, hit the two, hit enter again, and that'll give you the six combinations. So hopefully you'll find that helpful.